Hey, Paul. Father Paul. Hi, Cecilia. How was the visit? What? Uh, okay. That's convincing. Care to talk about it? I mean, you must. You come to confession. Tell me what's going on. Like a juicy tomato, let's catch up. You're my oldest friend. Mm, Miss Tran is your oldest friend. She's in her 80s. Ah, you can speak. Tell me what's going on. I lied to Dimitri. I don't know why. And to his parents. And all his cousins. Just Nick, Baby Nick, Nico Too Much stuff. All the cousins. Confessions of a Catholic. Hey, babe. Hi, handsome. Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> Is it weird I look forward to your goofy greetings? Take note, Cecilia. Goofy greetings are the way to go meeting his family today. Not sure that's the first impression I want to make. Then you're going to meet her parents, Dimitri? If we ever plan a trip. No, her parents are... We should go. I don't want to be late. Have a good night. Cecilia, can I ask you a super secret question about my bartender glow-up I'm planning tonight? <laughs> <laughs> what is a glow-up? Wait, wait. You know what? Forget I asked. I know better than to question your shenanigans. I'll go call the elevator. Why are you lying to Dimitri? Your parents are in town this weekend. My silence can be bought. Bring back his mom's cooking. Lots of it. Deal. A lot. Like, when you think you have enough, double it. Florence, did we plan something? I can have other friends. She's here for me. Bye. What are we doing tonight? I've been following this famous German bartender on Instagram, and she messaged me back, so I need to up my online presence. Step one, epic bartender name on socials. Go for the obvious. Epic bartender. No, too egotistical. Alliteration! That's the key. Agnes the... Looking up words that begin with A, Agnes with alcohol. No, that sounds like I have a drinking problem. Alliteration is not the key. And who needs a nickname? You can never give yourself a good nickname. Reminds me, I've got to get back to calling Paul Laser, like he asked me back in high school. <laughs> Laser. How lame. Oh, alliteration is key. As soon as my parents open their front door, the family invasion begins. Hugs, loud discussions about you, and enough food to feed Mount Olympus. I'm ready. They'll love me. I brought dessert. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. So, here we go. And don't lead with your dessert. What? <gasps> oh, my baby's here! Mom, I'd like you to meet my girlfriend, Cecilia. Cece? This is my mom, Mimi. Nice to meet you, Cecilia CC. Oh, that's a good grip you got there on my cheeks, Mimi. Meow. Meow. A cat lover, huh? I like you already. Everyone, meet Cecilia CC. Cecilia CC. Hello, Cecilia CC. I'm the father, Constantine. My name's Jess. There's my boy. Come in and eat. Cecilia Cece, did your parents come? They live down in Florida. <clears throat> I'd like to meet them first before you get to dead. They don't visit? Cecilia Cece, you're uh, Catholic? Yes, ma'am. Why is it always Catholic girls, Dimitri? First Lara, now... Cece, meet my cousin, Just Nick. I'm Yaya's favorite. Yaya means grandma. And he's lying. I've always been her favorite. Nice to meet you, Just Nick. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's lots of Nicks and Nikos and Nickies with various names. And Dimitri, <laughs> you? Her favorite? You may have moved up in rank when Lara was around since Yaya liked her so much. But now that she's gone... 
<clears throat> Let's go get some food, shall we? I'll explain what everything is. Golly, that's a mountain of food. Dimitri, thanks for this. I hate not living by family, so this is great. Where should I put my dessert? Right, your dessert. Uh, there may be room on the table over there in the corner, maybe. You made something? How nice! Oh, the store made something. It's just something small that I picked up. <laughs> like Lara. Such a tiny little thing when Dimitri first brought her around. <laughs> but then she started eating with the Greeks. Wasn't tiny anymore. Leave Cecilia Cece alone. I mean, look at her. She definitely won't have trouble fitting in. Who doesn't love Socolatopita? <laughs> okay, focus, 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 exactly, focus. Forget the name. What is the focus of my new bartending channel? Mm. Okay, okay. What is happening right now? It's my thinking noise. Uh, ah! Thank you, Dimitri, for giving Cecilia this bouquet of flowers. Gives me an idea. Okay. Recording. Hey, guys. This is the launch of my new channel, Flower in Your Growler and Other Floral Concoctions. Every week, I'm going to give you a new flower-infused cocktail. Subscribe now for a blooming good time. <gasps> right. Allergies. Never mind that idea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, movies! Everybody loves movies! I'm with ya! Sipping a martini while watching Bond. Uh. That's amateur hour. I'm talking Captain, a Maritini, Abuela, a Maritini for Encanto, a gin and elderflower, Dompton Abbey Martini. So, an all Martini hour? Ugh, I need to get it together. Next. Cecilia Cece, you said your family is down in Florida? They moved there ten years ago, to the villages. The villages? Do they play cribbage? They do, actually. They were just telling me that they started. When I talked to them on the phone, like definitely on the phone. My friend from the old country moved down there in place. They must know George Pappas. They just started, so I, I don't know who all they know. Call them. I'll ask. It'll be good for us to get to know them. You know, I I don't think they can talk right now. <laughs> well, it's, it's not too late there yet, is it? They're early in everything. Eat early dinner, early to bed, early turning off the phone and being completely unreachable. Mimi, help me find my phone. I need George's number. Isn't it just better to stay in the present? <laughs> Pay attention to those in front of us. You will not bother anyone not in this room. His phone's right here. Yes, Nick. I want to stay Yaya's favorite and mine. Please make sure this phone call doesn't happen. This is it! Books! And this bookshelf is the perfect backdrop for the video. We're recording. Hello, my bibliophiles. What's better than relaxing with a classic book and classic cocktail? Subscribe and you'll get great recipes for Tequila Marking Bird and Old Man and the Seagrams. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. Um, <clears throat> you should check if any of these books are canceled these days. You're right. That would tank my new brand. Who am I kidding? I don't have time to read these. Don't want to be called out for being a fake. Ugh. Why is this so hard? <gasps> Disney. Everyone loves Disney. I'll match it with the characters. Yes, record. Hey, everyone. You want to make the happiest place on earth even happier? I've got drinks to line up with all your favorite. An email just popped up from Disney Legal? Cease and desist? I didn't even finish the video, much less post it. Okay, next. 
Are you still listening in on my phone, lawyers? I'm moving on to the next idea. <sighs> what are you doing? I'm, I'm thinking too. Okay. <sighs> what would viewers want to know? The history of drinks? <gasps> Since the dawn of time, people have used alcohol. Cavemen fermented, uh, something. No, no, something with Prohibition gangsters. Oh, I could dress up like I'm in the 20s for that one. Oh, fun, but where am I going to get this costume budget? Oh, why is this so hard? I just want to be an influencer in this world. Maybe we're going at this all wrong. The alcohol market is saturated. How about mocktails? Yeah! Surely Temple isn't the only game in town. Ugh, no, that's terrible. I don't need a bunch of 12-year-olds subscribing. <sighs> oh, God. Hi there. It's Father Paul's sister. Did you really just name drop with God? Whatever, if grease is the wheels. I know you've got war, famine, and any number of really awful things going on, but here goes. I finally think I'm good at something and can settle in my life, but I'm stuck. Can you give me some advice? So, do you, like, look around for a sign? I haven't done this in so long. I don't know how this part works. Cool. Okay, so no angel appearing to magically help. Not magic. I didn't mean that. I know you're not magic. The jury will disregard that last comment. There should really be a manual on praying. Of course. Cecilia has a literal book of prayers. Huh. Ask and I shall receive, I guess. Nice work, God. Oh, maybe I can make drinks <gasps> to go with saint days. There's patron saints for everything. Definitely beer or wine, and Paul can hook me up with the Catholic events that Pastor will undoubtedly put him in charge of. And I can sling drinks. I'll call it drinking with the angels. Oh, no, I won't, God. <laughs> huh. If I knew prayer was this fast track, I would have been doing this a lot sooner. Constantine, I can't find your phone. I've looked everywhere. Are you going to finish your Sokolotopita, Cecilia CC? You can have it, Jess Nick. <laughs> What'd you do with this phone? Turned it off and hid it under your dessert on the back table. No one will look there. Cecilia, what are you hanging around this guy for? Let me introduce myself since Dimitri is shirking in his duties. I'm Nico. You another one? Yeah. There are a lot of us, so you can call me Big Friendly Nico. Aren't nicknames usually shorter? Well, my full name is Nicholas Andros Timos Christodulopoulos. Hmm, how about BFN? I'm happy to meet you. The pleasure is all mine. Dimitri has said so many wonderful things about you. That's nice to hear. I mean so many, it's like shut up already, we get it. You found a gold mine with this one. Sweet, beautiful, kind. <laughs> You're making me blush. And humble. <laughs> But Laura made her own baklava. Mom, why would you do that? Okay, look, since everyone is clearly listening now, Laura is in the past. We weren't even together that long. I'm with Cecilia. You speak to your mother like that? I, well, I... Cecilia Cece must be some kind of woman for you to be a man and defender like that. Welcome. Now let's eat. I haven't eaten in an hour. Goliorexi! Opa! Did I get it? Uh, close enough. Thanks for having my back. Of course. I mean, you've got mine, right? No one wants to feel like they're second fiddle in someone's heart. Yay! Hey, sorry. I'm late. Another one? We were just at brunch with your parents a few hours ago. I know. I just wasn't ready for my parents to meet Dimitri. You know, St. Paula is a patron saint of widows. Pray for her intercession to illuminate your fears and worries you may be having deep down. I think a novena would be helpful. 
Thanks. I have no good segue for this since my brain is a little fried from all the ministries. You're joining Lady Trash on Wednesday, right? What the heck is that? Did the pastor make you start an all-female punk band ministry? Don't say that too loud, he might. No, it's a group of women who are cleaning up trash in the community. That's not even spiritually edifying or any work of mercy. I know, he's messing with me now. I won't back down. I'm bringing Frank's old guitar. I'm turning it into a band. We are Lady Trash! Confessions of a Catholic Single is a production of Dash Entertainment, created by Aaron Dooley, written by Aaron Dooley and Charlemagne Roffles, directed and produced by Aaron Dooley, title song written by Christoph Munoz and Genevieve Grimm, performed by Genevieve Grimm, Katie Bonenhammer as Cecilia, Kristen Jazak as Agnes, David Acuff as Dimitri, Charlemagne Roffles as Father Paul, Carolyn Larson as Mimi, Walt Sloan as Constantine, Tom Gargano as Big Friendly Nico, Christoph Munoz as Just Nick, Tom Gargano as New Nick. Up next on episode four, Cecilia handles Frank's birthday. It's Frank's birthday. I used to go all out, one-upping myself every year. Do you know how extravagant things got after 20 years? Now what do I do with myself today? And Agnes and Florence have a spa day. You could have told me we'd be sharing a room when you invited me to spa day. I had a coupon, but it's only for couples massage. Be cool.